you know, if you take a look at some of the races that we have been seeing, uh, one surprise to some people may be the fact that it looks like Steve Raby may be actually winning the Democratic nomination to run for Congress without a runoff. Steve Raby with 61% of the vote, Taz Shepard with 23%. Raby has already been declared the winner. Now, you know, we've been watching these numbers come in from the beginning. He took an early lead, even with the early numbers coming in. You don't want to jump to any conclusions, but uh, here he is walking in right now. We're expecting him to speak any moment right now. Steve Raby walking up to the podium. Let's listen in and hear what he has to say to everybody gathered. Thank you all. Thank you so very, very much. I tell you, it is, it is just a very humbling experience to see the vote tally that we got today. It is just, uh, it, it, it really shakes me. I mean, we, we are over 60% of the vote. While, while this is humbling, I know that this is a team effort, and it belongs to all of you in the room, and it belongs to all of my family up here, and I just thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. I've got, I've got to publicly thank the good Lord for this. It's uh, it's certainly a lot of answered prayers, a lot of answered prayers. So, and, and I, I've got to thank my girlfriend that I've been chasing around since I was 15 or 16 years old. Where did my wife go? Get up here, Denise. <laughs> thank you. And, and, and for those of you that were around on our first event, I'm not about to start introducing my family. <laughs> But I've got a big family, and they work so very hard, and I thank you all. Uh, our staff, it's just been a wonderful team to work with. We've scattered over. Uh, Bryant Raby. Bryant, raise your hand. <laughs> Leslie Henshaw. Jim McCainy. Where's Jim? And Patrick Grayson. And Jeff Kilgore. A great thing. I tell you, I, I, I have to uh, thank all of these women involved. I'm blessed to have uh, my uh, mother with me tonight. Where's mom? All of these women. I'm, I'm blessed to have my 97-year-old grandmother that got out and worked for me. So. And, when a, and when a man can get his mother-in-law to help her out. <laughs> <laughs> and I've, I've got to thank one other woman, uh, uh, Miss Heflin, who was so helpful during the course of this campaign and has been such an encouragement. And she, she is my political mother, and she's watching tonight uh, in uh, Tuscumbia. So, Miss Mike, I thank you and thank the Heflin family. Thank you. <laughs> let, let me say with this, with this vote, such a strong vote. I think it is a very clear message from the people in North Alabama. It's a message for change. You know, we, we, I, I'm, I am so blessed. I've never been a candidate. I've never run for public office. And for people to buy into our message and to our campaign, they definitely want Congress to change, or at least our congressmen, to change what we're doing and how you're doing it. So tonight, I'm here to accept this mantle of change, and even though I'm a newcomer as, as, a, as an elected official or as a candidate, we're going to take this thing all the way to Washington. And we're going to do that. Thank you. I will be brief. There are people all across the Tennessee Valley, they've welcomed me into their communities and uh, their churches and their schools and their homes and you know we've listened to them and they've really got a simple message let's tone down this political rhetoric 
and let's step up and do public service. And that's what we're going to be about. They want, thank you. They, they want a congressman that's talking about real issues like jobs and roads and not speaking in political words and, and blaming people and making excuses. The people of North Alabama, they want a congressman to help us to continue the tradition of supporting our nation's soldiers and the continuing pursuit of manned spaceflight. I commit to you that I'll fight on these issues. I'm not going to be fighting on political issues. We're going to be working on things that make a difference in people's lives. 